Hey guys, uh, we are going to do chess with Doug. Doug just turned pro, won his show overall, kicked ass. Um, and then we're going to be also at the end of this, you're going to see about the Titan series. So make sure to check the comment section, swipe up, uh, not swipe up, just click on it. Um, you guys get into the VIP at the Titan series. That way we're going to get you some extra free stuff. Okay, uh, I don't wanna always stop the workout and, and tell you what to look for, but you gotta look for this. When you watch him do his incline, he's not doing a powerlifting incline, he's not doing like, hey, I'm a strong guy incline, he's doing an isolation incline to the point of, which I like, you guys are gonna be upset. He raises his head and almost flexes it in and presses it out. Compared to a powerlifter, we're all, Pull it in, everything's locked in, push back. So it's even a notch above, which makes it harder. But if you can see those little details, then maybe that will help you guys, because I understand so many people just, I did the inclines. Uh, did, uh, you? did you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. exactly. So watch his whole body this time. Not so much, yeah, he's doing 425, what is this? Yeah, 425 on inclines, but watch everything he's doing. And just did his show and won his pro card, so. Hey, yeah, buddy. Uh, that pro card might be weighing a little heavy on him. <laughs> or the weight's lighter now? Yeah, it's like bands. Oh yeah, already better. Nice. Better. Oh wow. That's right? Shit. Yeah. Shit. Just two is fine. That looks like good shit. Keep it in there. No new foul strength. So uh, what did you do there, Mike? Because if you go back maybe two chest videos ago and compare that to that set, I just a huge I, difference. It was an annoying, and he's gonna hate me for it, but it, it was just continuous me pounding. I'm going, I don't get what you're doing. You know, I don't get what you're doing because most people are going to go, uh, I did it. It's great. I don't give a sheesh that you did it. It's more important how you do it, like how Doug's doing it, than you do it. Do you understand that? Let me say it again. It's more important how you do it than you do it. So, and I was telling Elias that Arnold even talked about it. People would follow him around in the gym and wouldn't get the same benefit. There's a connection to weightlifting. It's, you can go through the freaking motions and get nothing out of it. Go to your gym. You go to your gym today, look at everybody that's there, and you know that you saw them two years ago and they look the same, if not worse. But they've been working out, so how is that even feasible? It's like the logbook guys. You carry around a logbook, you never change. You're so focused on the numbers, you're not focused on what, what you're doing. I've always said that. You carry a logbook in the gym, you go back five years, it's the same guy, same look, same everything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's gotta be a point where you graduate from that and go, it's my best I can do today. That's how I've always felt. It's a relationship with your body, with your muscle, you know? It's like you get everything you can all the time, so I don't need to track it because I know it's everything. That's what matters. If you got a lock book and you're a power lifter, 100% cool yeah. with that. Because you got 15 minutes in between sets. You could do that. <laughs> I, I'm that way. But but if you're a bodybuilder or you're trying to develop the body, drop what you want. Let Doc go first. Uh, oh, yeah. 75. 75. 75. I'm just... Hopefully you guys are gathering this. Um, we're gonna get really in depth on another video talking to him about the struggles. Give pop. Watch how Doc does this. And Doc is a power lifter. Force the body already. Here we go, big dog. Here we go. I think it went slower down than it went up. Yeah. Doc does that. No, but I like that. Yeah. You said you said something. I say you're a coil getting shoved down. So you take it down and then put it up where you kind of said similar. Similar. I'd pull it down into the correct position and then press it out of the correct position. 
And with chest, for me, it was always hard for me to have scapular awareness. When I first started, I wasn't moving my scapula to, to press. And so you didn't get as much chest activation, your shoulders do more of it. And so as I started pulling down, I can pull my scapula back and squeeze. Turn sideways. So yeah. Pull the scapula back and squeeze and then press out of there. And just by focusing on my back, the chest is open and ready to go. That was my, my hack. You just did your show last week. Um, I'm guest posing in two weeks. And I wanna go into it at the end of the workout when they see this, your understanding of uh, the whole lightweight thing. The lightweight bodybuilder? Um, no, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's exactly where I'd go too yeah. because you and I, don't, there's no such thing as lightweight. There's ah. weight used for the rep range you're doing. Yes, yes. It's not a lightweight thing. So never, never. Think about that as we do this workout. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Because if you guys don't know, I'll make this real simple. Uh, before stage, guest posing, or me, what you, and, and after, your strength is the weakest. Absolutely. The weakest you're ever at, because the joints are so dried out. And um, so. You see him playing with 425. So that kind of gives you an idea on the understanding of weight lifting. Yeah, absolutely. Press this. Yep. Go big dog. This is it, this is it, last one. Two. Up. Up. Play, play. Take it. Hit Back it. up. Go again. Good. Hit it. Go again. Nice work. Nice. 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 Oh yeah, dog. Nice. So the reason why I'm okay forcing you to go something heavier now is because I know the form is there. Okay. There's no reason for me to spot you when you're kicking your ass in the air and bouncing it. It's like, hey, it's already half a lift and it's like, you finish it. But now, you're flexing through it. And so if I give you just a little bit here and there, or even just put my hands on it, people don't realize that. I just put my hands on it, it pisses you off, and you push harder. So, it's almost like, are you not the same way? Oh, absolutely, don't touch that shit. You touch it, you're basically, <laughs> you know, you're in a bar fight and your friend has to help you. It's like, ooh. Warming up still? Still warming up. Uh, 145s. Still a uh, just a moderate incline. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, right. I want them to see this. <laughs> so this gives you a better idea of the angle of his elbows. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you can see the chest come together. Doug, your head's up, man. That's so wrong. Here we go. Like nothing. Nothing. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Again. There we go. Big stay air, stay in here. Big air. Go. Tss. 
One more. Big air. That's it. Yeah. Up. Up. Got it. Good go. Easy money here. Easy money here. chest I feel the negative first when you feel the negative you know the positive is going to go back to that spot so I focus on feeling the chest opening up on the as the dumbbells come down around my body because then I know I can close them with the chest keep you in the front feet down also we're back we're off the bench okay up Shoulders over. Yeah, I know you see. I know you see that. Okay. So I want you guys to get all those aspects in. Our this is in no way, in no world, is this a press. Flies. Arms come out. Up, 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 up. No. Get that. Get that. Up, up. Two. Your top shelf. Same thing. There. Uh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. So if you guys do not ask why is the neck up and if that's bad for you. If you think it's bad for you, then, then don't do it. Um, why is the ass up? Go and try this stuff. Please, just go and try all this stuff that we're doing today and then let us know what you think. All right, because you asking questions does nothing. Does nothing until you apply it, check it for yourself and then come back so you can fully comprehend what we're doing and why we're doing it. But for anybody that says, hey, your neck up, you're gonna strain yourself. Please unfollow this page. Unfollow this page. Block me from everything. Right, just casual, casually. The other thing too I like is see how he rotates his hands out. Palms aren't facing in. Knuckles are kind of back.
Beautiful. Beautiful. Does his high necks. Jeffrey, I don't know if you can get around the backside, but can you take a look at his head again? No. I love that. Again, he's trying to find the angle, the best stretch, that upper chest, front delts. Beautiful. Doc, pull one. Take it now. Good, go. Oh my. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah. Oh. If it's choking you, you did it right. <laughs> yep. So, ready for this one? 1979 was the first time I did high necks. 1979. Um, and it was because I was powerlifting at the time. So, great exercise here. It's great for bodybuilders, and I don't know why they don't incorporate it more, except the fact that they get such uh, monstrous delts that it's hard to stretch down. But as you see, how much you weighing? 285, 287, right there. <laughs> so he's still being able to do that. So for you guys, the reason why I'm saying 19, 1997 is because of the fact that I want you guys to know that it's healthy for the shoulders. Um, obviously, you can go out and play tennis and hurt your shoulders, or you can do high necks for 40 years and it doesn't hurt your shoulders. So. It's the individual, but you take it over. Yep. Well, it, it, it is true. You know, mobility is the longevity in this game. And so the more you can focus on exercises that stimulate the chest and promote mobility through the shoulder joint, the better this rep is gonna be, the better your strength is gonna be going forward. And so notice he's completely controlled all the way through. No stopping and the contraction is just where you want it. I mean, Nice. Pretty nice. much shaving that chin. Pretty much shaving that chin. Good. What are we pulling? Ooh, good. Good. So, you good? We still good? We're going, no, dog. I, I, like, I like having guys like Doug on there, who's, to me, a newbie. Really new to weightlifting. And how long you been lifting? 15 years. Okay, so yeah. hopefully, hopefully you guys will get that, 15 good. years. Doc's been an athlete since the day he was born. Um, and Elias is 21. So we got all different age groups, all different times. But what we'd like to teach you guys at home is that weightlifting with mobility is longevity. And I, I don't know where that's lost in translation. Go! Yeah! One. Two. Yep. Good. Three. Here we go. Four, five. Yep. Pull the quarter. Oh. We're gonna reverse it, Doc. Oh. Okay. Three. Up. 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 Stay there. Hold it. Reverse them. Got it. Three again. Nope. Go. Come on, baby. Come on. One. Oh. Two. Three. Oh. And up. Oh. Stay there. Yep. Stay there. Three. Doc, feel me. Ah, One. Woo. Pick it up. Two. Come on, oh. more. Three. Stay there. Pull. Come on, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play. Oh, yeah. Woo. That's my boy. Come on, Doug. Ah, that's Come it. On, up, 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 up. Woo. <laughs> Took it all. I guess that's what we do here when we lift weights. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> From the get go. Oh, yeah. There it is. Here we go. Yep. 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 Nice. Oh, yeah. Here we go, here we go Mike, here we go. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Oh, go try that. that Have fun good. with it. Uh, Dougie killed me on that. But what we did was uh, think 365. <laughs> 365, 315, 275, I think, and then 220. I tried. He did do it. Um, go beat us. Do it. Uh, do four reps each. Each thing. Drop set. Have fun. <laughs> So this is an old school exercise, a little pec deck action. One thing I like, I mean, Doug was just talking about this, is, is we find that spot, depending on where your hands are. And it's always different. Each each workout on this machine, don't know why this is. Some days when I do this, it's like beautiful like this, and other days I'm here squeezing it. But um, I love this exercise. It's one of those exercises that you finish up the workout with, superset with, do whatever you want with. Um, so again, Dougie, you're, you're going here? Color? I'm I will the next one. I actually did the last one up here. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here. I always think of Franco Colombo. Look at that thick upper rope right there. Uh. Franco's chest. Right? Second to none. Oh, whoa, hold on. Yeah, that was my next one. Did you shoot the hips out a little bit? That plays a huge part in chest. Yeah? But you, I found that on hammer strength, especially any kind of hammer strength press with your hips out a little bit more, I'm more comfortable. One machine, you can do it 10 different ways. Right? right? A little buffet. Let's go, baby. Oh yeah, the hips was everything. Right? Feel that instantly before you start. Oh, nice. There you go, Doug. Nice. Great set. Get it, get it. Two more. What'd you do on that set? I kept it flat palms. And as I was flying, the end of my fly was a little press. I don't know if you noticed that. You come across, little press. Really, I mean, you can, you can find kind of find the power in your fly. Because a lot of times I feel like people don't, you don't really feel a fly. You know the motion, but do you really feel your pectoral pulling your arm across your chest? That really kind of helps sometimes just to get that extra stimulation, pull it out. Love it. What time is it? It's at eight o'clock, is it? It's food time. It's food time. Oh, sheesh. You know what, man? I wish I prepped my meals or had something because if I went to work out, this would be the time to eat, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Man, I hope I hope I would do something. Oh, man. Maybe bring something to the gym because they're not, they're not taking this serious. Who told you that? Was that like John McEnroe told you? No, that I think it was like, a, like, it was like an, an Instagram influencer. Those guys are smart. Those guys are really, really Whoa. smart. They tell you, hey, have a protein drink after your workout. So. Good thing. Save, save, save today. I think this is going to take me to the next level. Probably. I Probably. just got to listen more. Listen, apply. Like and share. Yeah. What are you going to eat? Eggs if, and oatmeal. You put it with you? I did. Can you, you believe that? From my kitchen into a bag. Now it's time to eat it. Yeah, I got eggs, oatmeal, and blueberries. Very gotta, exciting stuff. That, Let's go. Let's go get it. I got to see it, too. I need a place to track it. Scott. We got eggs. This is going to make a mess right here. You do the whole egg? I do the whole egg, yes. Uh, your protein intake right now is 400-something? 420-something, yeah. Right around there. And this is to... 
so you don't blow up after the show. Yeah, we kept it pretty, you know, I always try to keep it conservative. I only eat like little tiny bits of the shit food that I want to eat. Mm -hmm. And then I get back to my diet about 85, 90%. And then after a week of that, then I'm back on it all the way. But you got to have some time for some cookies. Come on, man. Uh, and then carbohydrates. Carbohydrates today. are basically, I, I cycle two days high, two days low. High days about 550, low days about 375. Not a bad low day. It's not a bad low day. <laughs> not a bad low day. Compared to my 50. <laughs> Keep feeling my egg for me. Oh, uh, that's when you know she's the one. That's when you know she's the one. He only has six eggs each time. Doesn't matter, it could be one egg. <laughs> she's peeling it. You guys out there know what I'm talking about. Do the little things. <laughs> Did you just do that? <laughs> 